New York and on the new Hot 97 app. Ebro in the morning. On Hot 97. It's Ebro in the morning. We got the beautiful Laura Styles, Rosenberg, and A Boogie in the, <laughs> yeah. from the Bronx. We got an album out. And that you no know, hoodie. This is the first album, A Boogie, right? Man, this is the best album. You heard? Facts. Well, I mean, but in your journey, this is the first official album. Yeah, this is my first album. What is that around your neck? It's a big old kilo. That is a... What's the front? Let me can I see What's this part right here? It hurts, too. It's a buckle. Oh, there's he, a buckle? It so it can't get too. snatched. I'm treating it like a piece. There's a buckle right here. That's a serious piece right there. Ebro, you think that's too much for me? Yeah, I think you should stay away from... The full... Yeah, you've done enough with the jewelry. So enough? That's uh, just for a boogie. The fact you. that you have mm -hmm. family members that question your, your life choices because <laughs> of your jewelry is probably saying something. Did anyone question <laughs> did anyone question this purchase when you got it? Yeah, everybody. <laughs> they said, nah, you don't need that too much? <laughs> when did you buy this for yourself? Was this a <laughs> gift? Tell them how much it is. They ain't going to be happy with that. <laughs> Facts. Was it a celebration for something or was it just random? Um, It's a celebration for drowning. I went platinum drowning. Boom. So it's well-deserved. Oh, it's it's well deserved. It's the drowning trophy right here. This is a filthy, officially drowning right here. That's, well, that's nice. Definitely don't wear it in the pool because you'll be. You drowning. will drown. You drowning. will drown yeah, if you yeah, try to rock problem. that in the pool. Um, nice. drowning. You wrote the entire. This. I'd love to understand. Uh, you as a songwriter and an artist, because I don't think you consider yourself a rapper or a singer. You're just an artist. You're somebody who just makes catchy tunes and and hit records. That's how you see yourself. Yeah, because I find rappers like spitting off the top. Freestyling for me, I could rap, cause I could I could talk to you on a song and make you feel like I'm for me spitting some shit, but I don't call it really rapping, cause I'm not going on radio stations freestyling or like, like your bro Don Q gets yeah, it. Don Q's gets a rapper. Poppin'. He's a rapper, right straight there. up. One of the best out here too. He's a rapper. Um, and Drown the video just dropped today too. It went live. Word. Shout out to the Wright brothers on that one. And so, and Kodak Black's in the video. Nah, he on probation. Um, some shit like that. He so couldn't, he couldn't even move around. He's caught up. Damn, that guy stays in trouble. Well, I was postponing it for a little minute, but I had to drop that shit. Right? Yeah, you have you have had um, you appear to have that that energy that je ne sais quoi, Ebro, that gets a lot of people who want to jump on records with you. Like a lot of the new artists who have also come out who are hot have wanted to jump on records with you. Is it was it uh, what's the process when you connect with people, and was it easier than you expected? Because not every new artist is able to just have other dope artists jump on records with them. Yeah, it's kind of hard when you wanna. Let's say I wanna. For example, I want a dead one or something. I can't just, I can't just get a dead one or something. No, not yet. That's out of my lane too. <laughs> no, though, but... no, not yet. But in time, in due time. Yeah, facts. But um, I rather just keep it more genuine and just meet up with somebody in the studio, physically, even with a producer, and just get to work like that. Or me and Herbal might meet up later too in the studio. We used to talk about leaving up and for me putting putting together some shit. Yeah, Herbal's dope. We love Herbo up here. But shout out to his album too, man. I say fire too. Um, so are you oh, writing? Project, are you writing all the records yourself? You doing everything? Everything. everything. I'm writing everything. Man. I can't let nobody write a write a verse for me, um, or even a melody idea. Cause you know that's the part of it too. Like you got the melody idea, you got the words, the you know the whole concept. You're doing it all front yeah, to back. Doing it all. So and who did the beat on Drowning? Um, Jahan. It was. I don't know if he's still Kalani producer. But his producer named Jahan, he he rocked with um, Kalani. He did like mm -hmm. 10 beats for or something like that. Mad beats for him. I don't even know, probably 20, 30, but he recorded with Kalani for a minute. And I met him in a hotel one day. And for me, we was in the lobby about to check in. He showed me his beats. And I was like, oh, this is fire. I told him to come, come upstairs to the room. Mm -hmm. we, chill, we chilling, vibing out in the room. My man Christopher got it on camera and stuff. Um, I was making drama. When he played the beat, I made the melody. And I just threw the words on it. So you making all the money? <laughs> I mean, I'm you know just just for the you know yeah, nobody uh, nobody got those writers writers publishing. <laughs> nobody got the writing and publishing, huh? <laughs> yeah. Yo, so that's I mean <clears throat> that's your legacy. You realize that you got a platinum record on your first run. That's two, something that your daughter. That's records. college. That's that's college money for your daughter for late. Yeah. That's money forever. Drowning's gonna be around. I think Drowning's gonna be one of those records we're gonna hear for a long time. And that's not it, man. That's, that's Two platinums ain't enough for me. I know I just started, and I'm not trying to be overwhelmed with myself now, but I feel like I got whoosh, so much more platinums to go for me. It's 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, never know. Right? Just keep going. Are you putting out another album this year? This year? Nah. Nah, I ain't putting out another one this year. You're well, you going to hear some more work from me, yeah. Videos, singles, yeah. Well, I'm going to give you a piece of advice right now, because you're doing very well. You don't need very much from me. 
but they're going to crush you right now in the comments for that halls you just put in your mouth. I mean, that's just oh, that, your <laughs> that, that bounce around. Around. Yeah, it's going to be. Because the way it's picking up on the mic. Well, yeah, you just uh, gotta, people are going to be like, yo, I'm like, like, yo, yeah. man. Help this I love guy a out, boogie, man. but why? Is God I don't know the fuck what they're saying. Man. I got <laughs> stuffy <laughs> nose. Exactly. They're going to have to deal with this. Take that, <laughs> take that you YouTube comment animals. <laughs> a boogie with no hoodie. Are you, are you changing your name? No, nah, I'm not changing my name. Because I heard that. Yeah, yeah, my name is already um artist, so I'm I'm call, I'm letting people call me by my real name, artist. And a boogie with the hoodies, my stage name, so I'm, for me, I gotta stick with that right now. Anyway, are you um? I guess uh, I've heard that you and your high bridge collective have decided that you was gonna move to like a a studio recording compound. Is that true? Mm hmm. So um, what? Explain to me what's happening now. I'm st I'm not even like so exactly what's going on yet because we didn't really get to that meeting. Um, but yeah, we working on getting the studio where it's like a good vibe, and like instead of being a home recording studio, it's gonna be the same thing in a type of way, but in a different location, just a better music vibe. Um, Mass Appeal helping us with it. Dope. Or That's dope. That. Or, um, I just can't wait to get in there. And then that way, it's just be a it'll be a live workspace. You guys will the whole team will just be able to be there. Mm hmm. Facts. Got a garbage, my fool. Uh, garbage can, anyone? Garbage. I think we got a garbage. Oh, there we go. He's had enough. It, listen, this is not because of the comments. I want everyone to be clear. He just you had enough of the hall. shit out here. <laughs> he had enough of the hall. What's, what's the next single off the project? Next single, um, I feel like Say A killing right now, but then you know what's crazy? No Promise is not even a um, club song or none of that, but that song is just one of the best. It's like literally the best song I feel like on there. But the next single will have to be all right, damn. Money sprung. Never know. Say A, beast mode. I'm still trying to figure it out myself. But the fans <laughs> is eating it all up. Yeah, yeah. They, 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 for me, they debating still. So, well, the most popular, according to your iTunes here, is uh, Drowning, not surprisingly. I mean, of course. Say A and Effing and Kissing are I mean, appearing to be. Great and then song. Beast that's Mode. a great theme song right there. Fucking and Kissing is great. Well, it's two of my favorite things. Interesting. <laughs> That's what you be doing. You be kissing on these hoes. I'm married. <laughs> on his wife. Yeah. Hey, yeah. Boogie, well, on and, his I'm, wife. I'm bad. My yeah. bad. And, and bear the dog. And the dog. Really? And the dog. Yeah. We, we just hope you're not having sex with bear the dog. No, no, no. The, I, well, it's actually it's like this. It's fucking and kissing your wife and then just kissing your dog. Oh, it's not, I'm not an animal. It's I'm not at the beast. No, no, not the same time. In fact, you know, one of the things you have to deal with as a pet owner is making, where do you put the pet? When you're when fucking the kissing on yes. your wife. Because it's the saddest thing not in the world. Not in the bed. No, but when you're like, yo, you got to go home. And he gives you the look. And you're like, that go. Ass, though. I know how that feels. And he turns around and looks up and you're like, sorry, bro. I'm going to give you your mom back in just a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, you have a dog, a boogie. Yeah, I got a little dog, Bo Mean. Shout out to my dog, Bo Mean, man. What kind of dog? He yeah, um, a Yorkie. Oh, you got oh, a little Yorkie? Yeah. See, see. Yeah, stupid That's ass That's funny. That was <laughs> 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 Why is he a stupid ass dog? He <laughs> bought. I fuck with him because he be barking when somebody knock on the door. You don't never know who coming to the door and anything. But this nigga just be barking sometimes for no reason. Nigga be coming to my door, barking. He not supposed to be in my room no more. He used to be in my room. But now he ain't. He jumping on the bed now. It's over for that. Oh, <laughs> can't be sleeping on the bed. By the way, I love that you have a Yorkie that barks at the door. But if a criminal actually came in and looked down, they could just punt him. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I, so wait, why'd you get a Yorkie, simple. though? Why'd you decide to get a Yorkie? You just thought it was cool? Or you got it for... First of all, I don't like a big old mess. You, like that big old shit. You can't... I can't have that big old shit in my You car. don't want to clean up the big old shit. Right, right, right. problem. Yeah, he got a little doo-doo, so... You can handle that. You can handle the little dude. <laughs> <laughs> I could rock with that. Wait, you still living in an apartment? You still living in an apartment? You ain't moved to a bigger house with a yard and all that yet? No, I got two. I got a mansion in the condo. For me, um, I'm in the condo with my my daughter. I can't put her in the mansion because that's too much. I'm on the other side of the house. Ah, for me, I experienced that already. I can't have a big house and one baby. That's too much. Yeah. So, so who's in the house? Which. You have, um, you with said, the baby? You, no, you said you're in the condo with the baby, but you also have a house, correct? Yeah, yeah. That's so who's like, in the house? We got like a label mansion. It's, oh, you got one of those. Oh, so it's me, of those. Don Q, Bubba. Me, Don Q, Bubba, QP. Like, so the house is a party house, let's be honest. Like, that's a good time that's happened in the house, and you keep your daughter uh -oh. at the condo. You can call it crazy. It's getting crazy. <laughs> <laughs> what goes on at the house? <laughs> the house is lit. The house has got to be lit. The house got a pool, diving board. That's like the backyard remind me of a, like a Michael Jackson crib vibe. Or you could just put animals in the in the backyard. Like, what? Where, so like, where is this in L is this New York? Tri State somewhere? Mm, it's somewhere. It's somewhere. Okay, okay. 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 I respect okay. that. Okay. I respect okay. it too. Okay. But you don't have animals yet. 
You just nah, saying I'm you trying could. to get a little monkey. I got to tell you, have you talked to French? Nah. Talk to French. French. The should. monkey's a commitment. It's a big commitment. Talk to I French. I see his little monkey. This shit fire too, but no, it's, it's, it's a lot. It's a lot. I don't want mine's growing that, that much either. You can't I'm stop it. Once you, you know you can't stop it from now, growing. Now, the little spider monkeys, I heard they don't grow that much. No, they don't, but the problem is they still wild out and jerk off in front of everybody, and like, there's a lot to they do. They throw their doo-doo at people. Yeah, you, know, you could train them, though. And if you tell them stop, it's like... Smack him up a little yeah, bit. good luck with No, that. you can't smack <laughs> him up. You can't smack up the monkey, and you can't just tell him stop. You can't smack your own, you can smack your own monkey. You can't, you can't smack up the other monkey. You shouldn't do that. Shouldn't do that. So, so at the pool, at the High Bridge Mansion, you guys swim in the pool yet? You nah, guys? we ain't even swimming that shit yet. That shit like 10 feet. <laughs> so, Are you, you say it like you're scared of it, though. You wouldn't go in for a nice dive? Nah, my friends be playing too much. I mean, <laughs> you, don't trust, you don't even trust him to be around the pool. He's not trying to drown. I, mean, I like, made that song already. It's over. I ain't drowning. Is I, I feel somebody like I, really drowning? You know, I feel like I really jinxed myself because in the music video, right? I'm under 15 foot. I'm, I'm under. It's like a pool, but it's 15 feet of water. I'm on the bottom of it with a piano, and I'm in, under the water for like 45 minutes. And the whole time, I'm thinking like, yo, I just made a song called Drowning, and I'm really right here. Like, what if I jinx myself and that ass drown? <laughs> And I was like, this shit was in my head the whole time. I was getting nervous as fuck under the water. I promise. I was just... <laughs> Yo, you, you know what? You know what, too? He has to be very concerned. You have to stay away from water because if God forbid the worst happen, imagine the field day the New York Post and the Daily News would have when they're like, Bronx rapper, quote, drowning incident no. at his house. No, you can't do it. <laughs> no. they, they'll be on you so fast. Can't Thanks. have that. In fact, you should cover the pool. I'll be honest. Fill the pool in. I, I don't want the pool leaving your house. Because if someone else drowns in the pool, same thing. Same thing. Right, you know what I'm saying? You got to just stay away from the water. So Thanks. so um, everybody lives in this mansion or y'all just part. I want to know more about this mansion because for several reasons, I'm trying to plot my way over to the mansion because I want to see what's happening on <laughs> there. I you, go could pull out. you could pull out. It'll you feel like a narc is there. Be. Like, oh, someone's dad just showed up to the man. He's picking God. someone up. Nah, I bring some weed. I bring it's some live weed. It's live though because we got like a porta potty in the front. But You see how I'm saying porta potty? It's not even like a port. It got like a flat screen TV and shit. It's like three bathrooms, but it's only like a porta potty though. It's like a truck in front of the house. I tell people they can't do it in my room, so for me, I don't go to the front of. The oh, this is getting. That's you know true. what? I mean, that's smart. We may need to restart the interview with a new title because this is getting interesting now. <laughs> a boogie will not let you take shits in his house. Is that he a fact? Has... You probably go to Don. Nah, Don not with that either. <laughs> so you don't have a pool. There's no pool house, like a separate residence for people to go. You had to get a, an actual truck. Yeah, like the pool, they don't come in no bathroom. We got a guest bathroom, but that studio bathroom is like, bathrooms is off limits. <laughs> you need all the bathrooms. Yeah, we need all the bathrooms. Because people be violating bathrooms anyway. I don't got time for that. Porta potty, I don't really mind. Wait, so who are, who are your... Uh, That's a good question. Who are these people you hang around that don't know how to properly use a bathroom <laughs> good question, in a you way know. that you never know somebody doesn't come leave to the, the bathroom in shambles? You never know. Somebody probably come to the crib one day. On some on some party time after the club, even a girl you never know. Like she in the bathroom with her friend, fuck up a toilet, throw mad tissue in there. You never know. I'm trying to get rid of the makeup. Yeah. Oh. I mean, these are things that happen. I've seen them happen. happen. But I'm just party. curious because it's so rare that someone would go out buy a big beautiful home with this money they've just made, and then be like, I love the home, but you know what it could use is a big porta potty in front. Well, no, it's, you, you don't see that every day. It's not saying porta potty. It's not. Like it's not that. that. It's, you an outdoor, nice it's an outdoor bathroom. It's a clean as nice modern looking bathroom. Like, but, but what just, is? But just out. <laughs> yeah, out just there. out in front of the crib. You just gotta walk outside. Wait, be cold. For two seconds. Oh my that's God. what. That's what. That's what I was getting to. So it looks Wait, like you almost front? have a satellite yeah, truck so. in front of your house at all times. Yeah, facts. <laughs> it looks like they're shooting some, something. The some phones are surrounded in two. Do you have a? I want to see this. Is this is a real thing. I want to see a boogie's outdoor bathroom. <laughs> yeah, this is crazy. Nah, I show you. I take a video of it. Throw on a snap. Now down. it is here's a, a business opportunity for you. After this interview, people are gonna say, "Oh shit, he's really done something amazing with the concept of the outdoor bathroom." You can make. A boogies. It will be a boogies luxury porta potties. A boogies mm. boo boo room. Facts. <laughs> people don't like going to porta potties because they dirty and facts. Like, it's just different. So you get a nice porta potty. Got, got the fan that let the let the air go through. <laughs> I'm yeah. sure you've done a festival before where they have the fancy ones. So you like walk in. It's beautiful. It's got, nah. It's always a dump. Only the um tour buses be having good bathroom. They yeah. have showers in there and all that. Now when you get to the Coachellas and all that, they got a different. Back, they're backstage, like artists, bathrooms, porta potty situation nice. is definitely like nicer than some people's house bathroom. I never yeah. even been to Coachella. Um, I was supposed to go to Coachella, but I didn't go. Wait, are you double jointed? Nah, I just cracked my 
My arms and my wrists. Like, can you pull your arms all the way back behind you? Can't do that shit. You look like a contortionist for a second. Wow. Well, I, I just like, like, I don't know. I don't try it. I don't know. Go for it. Nah. That would be crazy. <laughs> but back to the A Boogie's A Boogie's Boo Boo Room. Do you think this is a concept? I think, man. I look, man. My album just dropped. <laughs> the bigger artist. No more doo doo talk? Man. All right, fine. I don't want to talk about that, that shit. Do you have any, <laughs> literally. Boogie, do you have any uh, local shows coming up? Anything that's happening in the city anytime soon? Terminal 23. Nope. That's my next New York show. Terminal 5. Terminal 5. Um, I said Terminal 23. I play, I play Bull in that gym. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Terminal 5. Yeah, Terminal 5. Yes. November 9th. Yeah. Yeah, November 9th. So, yeah, that's going to be a big show. But after that, I'm trying to um, hide my face for a little while from New York and then, like, Somehow sell out Madison Square Garden. That's the, that. yeah. That's the plan. That's the plan. I love that. Boom. Big goals. Um, your fan base was very um active when you first came on the scene. It's only been what a year. Yeah, it's something like that. Um, do you feel like they've come along on this journey now that Drowning is platinum and you know High Bridge, the whole High Bridge, the label is really. Do you feel like the fan base? I mean, obviously it's a larger fan base, but those original fans. Yeah. Do you feel like they feel? Still involved and able to access you the same way. Yeah, I feel like they involved. I'll be writing my fans back and all that sometimes, but so you spend it's a lot of fans. Yeah. So you, well, yeah, now shit done got a little more popping for you. Yeah, but I definitely write fans back, um, and I I try to connect with them as much as I can through my music, even if I'm not really saying that much in my interviews that they can they can connect to. But I try to do it through my music as much as I can because that's what they really really listen to over and over. Like, you feel me? And they trying to remember the words, so I want them to remember some good shit. Have you and Cardi B been able? Uh, do you guys have a relationship? Because she's from Highbridge too, and I know yeah. y'all was coming up different ways, different times. I don't know if y'all had a chance to really. Nah, we never had wagon. a chance. We never had a chance to um get up. I've been really trying to um. Matter of fact, we had a show in Chicago. We were supposed to get up and everything, but there was just too much going on. We we really got to chop it up, see what's going y'all on. Y'all on the same it's label now, right? Atlantic, yeah, yeah. So, Cardi B, a Boogie. Do it for the Bronx, Col and do it for High Bridge That's collabo. And also exciting, I believe that Atlantic just signed the Cash Me Outside girl. Yeah, we're going to move on So if you want to do a, <laughs> do a collab it. with Cash what? Me Outside. No, no. no. Right. We're not doing I just that. want to put it in the ether and nope. see what happens. We don't need to do that. That'd be a pretty good song. Oh, we'll keep moving. <laughs> um, but do you see that? You see that as a possibility. Yeah, would yeah, you like that to be definitely. a possibility? Yeah, that, I ain't going to lie. That would be a, a great look for New York in general. Like Nobody from New York really connects with each other. And do songs together, so I feel like something like that would be a good opportunity for New York. Do you? Because the last time we had an interview, I felt like you was, you know, you were still working on yourself, right? You were still, mm -hmm. you know, plotting your path. And we yeah. asked you about working with other artists, and it was you was just kind of like you knew of them, but that wasn't where your head was at. Does it make it easier for you to collaborate with other artists from New York now that you've kind of established yourself a little bit better? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Especially after this album, like, that's one of the things I was really waiting for to really start. Doing music with other people. Um, now that I drop this album, you're gonna hear me, hear me more with other features and everything. Like not right away, right? Not right away, because a lot of people hit me right now. A lot of people hit me. Yeah, right but now. in time, in yeah, time, in time, I'm gonna let it all connect. And how do you see uh, navigating, making sure you last in this game? Mm -hmm. Because you know, there's a lot of artists from New York. We talked about it on the air every year. We've had, you know. From Bobby Shmurda to Young and May to Two Millie, Cardi B, yourself, you know, a lot of new acts have had hits over the last. The follow-up's been tough. The follow-up's been tough, and I think you've now, for Hot ninety seven, we've had at least two, two for sure hit records, mm -hmm. including Drowning. Mm -hmm. um, what's your? How are you navigating or plotting that? Because I know you're you're heavy on on your plans. Yeah, facts. I plan on being for a long time, so. It's just nothing really, more really, hits? Yeah, and techniques. It's not just more hits. It's about technique and like strategy. Strategy. You can't just you can't just drop music anytime and expect shit to go in any way. So it's always it's always like talking to um talking to the label, talking to the bros, and letting people hear the music, letting the bros hear the music and see and see what songs is for what. <clears throat> for example, like this album, I made mad songs, but all the a lot of the songs didn't make it because they didn't follow up the um like the this it wasn't really a, a story I say, but the vibes. They didn't follow up with the vibes. So the next album is it's really up to um like the songs I make and, and how I how I go about it. I don't really know what I'm gonna talk about, yeah. I don't know nothing I'm gonna do about the next album, yeah. But I'm making a whole bunch of songs and I 
after I figure out like three songs that go on the album, it's lit. That's It'll lit. start taking shape from there. From yeah, there. Yeah. But yeah, to Ebro's point, it's true though. That it has been a thing that's kind of been frustrating almost is that New York has these, we have two things. We have successful underground artists who have their own fan base that but don't, don't have commercial radio at all. That don't need mm -hmm. radio. And then you have the ones that break on radio and yeah, just can't seem to get that consistency, that follow-up, that next thing. So you're already in a good place because you had, like to Ebro's point, you've already had two records that have moved around. But yeah, I think it's it's good to hear that you have a plan in place and you want to be strategic with it because it seems like for whatever reason it's been hard for, for someone to get it to stick. Mm. Well, the thing that always interests me about you, it feels like you're try, always trying to learn. Like every time I've talked to you, you're trying to, you always tell me about, you talk about strategy, you talk about learning, like you brought up technique, like you're more thoughtful, I feel, than just like making records and throwing and throwing and going. Yeah, yeah. Um, Are you planning on working with any of the Swiss Beats and Pharrell's and the Timberland, going in that world of production at yeah, any definitely, point? definitely, definitely. I definitely fuck with that side of the, um, the music world. Shout out to Swiss Beats. Um, and obviously the Metro Boomins of the yeah, world Metro and, Boomin, you know. Facts. <clears throat> but Swiss Beats is the artist that I really got to connect with when it comes to the shit. Right oh, yeah, that's BX too. Definitely, definitely. I was trying to set up a, um, a record. I didn't really get to talk to them about it yet. Matter of fact, I'm going to highlight them first before I even say that shit. You should. I remember Drake brought you out in a couple of shows. How was that conversation? How was Drake with you and maybe possible collaborations with him? That was blessings, man. Um, I really actually started just coming out at that time. So when he brought me out, I felt like that was like just telling me like, yo, here, yo, you, you got it. <laughs> His daughter's outside. The <laughs> His daughter's in the cut. <laughs> oh, she's cute. <laughs> How's it feel to be a dad, man? Feels great, man. How old's your daughter? She's seven months. So you brand new, Dad. Yeah, facts, brand new. Got the kid with you. I don't, is, is mom here? No, no, no. I woke up early, had to bring her with me. You was just like, I'm riding out. Yeah, riding out. That's amazing, man. So what's, um, yo, man, I mean, I'm a dad, so I know what it feels like to yeah, just have your road dog. Tell her pull up. Tell her pull up. Yeah, yeah she, tell the seven-month-old pull up. Pull up. No, that's like, pull, isn't that a kind of, uh... That's a diaper. That's a diaper, a pull-up. She's pull not in pull-ups yet. She's <laughs> not in pull-ups <laughs> pull Got it, okay. She <laughs> want to be in pull-ups for a little bit. What's her name? Melody. Melody. Well, Artist and Melody. I like it. It's a real musical family. Mm. I mean, hey, I Boogie does have Melody. I ain't get the hey, Melody. I ain't know what I'm hey. doing. Hey. She's like, Dad, what are you doing? What are you doing, Dad? Hey, Boogie with a baby. <laughs> hey, Boogie with a baby. No <laughs> hoodie. She's like, okay. So, yeah, back to Drake. She got the hoodie too. Oh, Abel's <laughs> yeah. baby has a hoodie though. I, we love that. <laughs> I couldn't do a hair right for me. I ain't that good yet, but. You but, you, but she got the hoodie. It's not, and by the way, let's keep it 100. There's nothing really to do there yet. Just let it breathe. Let it breathe. <laughs> Don't be one of those parents that's trying to like put their baby's hair in a bun. There ain't no hair there, and they got the baby's hair all snatched back. There ain't nothing there. Then it hurts when they move. Yeah, just leave it alone for a second. Let it breathe. No, you good, She's looking right? at the lights. She's like, "Wow, Dad, this is great." Nice. How's that Binky over there? Binky? Oh, she just nodded when you said Binky. Uh, she Binky's nodded. Popping? She was like, "Yeah, Binky's She's popping." She's so aware. I thought you said Pinky. I saw her looking at my. Seat. No, not you. We're not talking <laughs> to you right now. We're talking about Binky, the baby's. <laughs> um, the pacifier. Hey, Boogie, question. So, um, you was on stage when Drake was dissing us. Why you didn't stand up for us? Oh, man? that's What's going on? I wasn't on the stage. You man. was there, man. I was like, I wasn't yo, on man, the stage, you let him talk about Hot 97 like that, man? What's was, going on, I was man? in the crowd, and I was like, yo, you shouldn't have said that, man. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Uh, <laughs> you were like, no, nah, they looked out for me. <laughs> they, they, my friends. They support artists. I was jumping. He said that, I was like... <laughs> <laughs> I was chilling after you said that. I wasn't moving my head. Yeah, no, I respect it. <laughs> Yo, let's give it up for A Boogie one time. Aww. Pick up that new album available everywhere. A Boogie with a baby. Specifically on Apple Music. <laughs> let's keep it 100 the best boogies you get it. A Boogie with a baby. A Boogie <laughs> with a Yorkie. A Boogie with a baby. No hood. She, she fucking with the Yorkie too. Aww. What's the Yorkie's so name? Balmain. Balmain. She gonna smack fire out of Balmain one day. <laughs> she smacking the shit out there. <laughs>